Hello everybody, my name is Sally and today we are back playing The Silent Age Part 2. We are hopefully going to progress and figure out what is in the basement laboratories that is leaving all the blood. Right, so we are back right where we wanted to be. This is our man Joe. Hopefully we can figure out what we are supposed to do here. It's tough to figure out how we're gonna press both these buttons at once because I assume that's how we're supposed to get through here. I want to know what the hell we're supposed to use this band-aid for. I mean, Joe's not bleeding. If we could ever, there we go. If we could ever just, free, if we could. Oh my God, that should hold the door shut, he just said. Fantastic, Joe. You are fantastic. Sometimes there's text in the left corner, so I'm just going to throw it in the right. So right door button we can finally press. Wow, who would have thought a band-aid would do all that work just for me? And we thought it was just a medical healing. Who is this? All right, let's go talk to him. Injured man. <sighs> Mister, are you all right? You're, you're bleeding. Huh, that's, that's a lot of blood. Stay right here. I'll go get help. Everybody says no. No! Don't. Don't get anyone. Are you alone? I'm not sure what... I asked you a question. Are you alone? <laughs> He's going to kill you, Joe. <laughs> yes. Yes, I came down here by myself. Good enough. Listen. <coughs> I'm shot, man. I don't have a lot of time. I'm also not important. At least this version of me isn't. What's important is that you understand what I am about to tell you now. Should, should I be writing this down? I don't have anything to write with. Shut up and pay attention! Bozo. <laughs> You're standing on the brink of an extinction level event. Set in motion by greedy halfwits that will eventually end the lives of every man, woman, and child on the planet. I know this because I'm partially to blame. Of course, you are. I realized our folly in time. Less sane and more senior heads prevailed. I have arrived from 40 years into the future to prevent it from happening. Things are obviously vastly more complex than this, but for lack of time to explain this properly to an insufficiently primed recipient intellect, I am what you would probably perceive as a time traveler. Mister, you've obviously lost a lot of blood. Quiet! <laughs> I have planned this out in every detail for the better part of my life. And I'll be damned if I will let it fail because of a single gun-toting, overachieving parking attendant who wasn't where he was supposed to be at this point in time. <coughs> <coughs> Thankfully, you look fleeceable enough to be coaxed into performing Please. one simple task for me. Simple. I, I want you sure, to find me. And tell me about this event before I depart for the past. You'll need this. What is this? It is a portable interdimensional planar membrane chronosync instrument. They need an acronym for that. It's a goddamn time machine, okay? For reasons you'll quickly come to realize. The device runs on solar rechargeable batteries. Nice. Despite this, I want you to keep it hidden until you're out of town. Don't let anyone see you with it, especially in here. Mister, between the blood and all this space talk, you're making me quite dizzy. I'm not sure how you I can pussy. help you other than by calling security and getting you to an ambulance. Just take the damn device and find me. You find me, you hear? <laughs> I don't even know your name, I don't think. Mister? Mister? Yeah, we don't know his name. Mister? No, no, no. He's. I think he's dead. Oh, help. God, I don't. Help! I need help in here! No one's gonna hear you downstairs, you buffoon. Stay right there, sir. Listen, you gotta help me. There's a guy in there. 
he, there's a lot of blood. He needs help. I said, stay right there. But I, but I work here. You know me. I Keep your hands where I can see them. Palms flat against the wall. Spread your legs. The police are on their way. What an idiot. He just said he knew him. Chapter 2. The Future. I don't want to be unreasonable here. All I want is some simple answers to some simple questions. You want this to become complicated, do you? Because, uh, oh, we can do that, you know. Make things complicated. Is that what you want? No, sir. Yeah, didn't think so. Let's, uh, let's just keep this nice and informal, shall we? See, I'm a simple, easy-going fella. I try to be affable and not go too hard on people. That's what I find works the best. Look at that fucking cop in the back. He's a different kind of guy. He doesn't have a goddamn shirt on. Obviously not. See, uh, I'm not too good with long, complicated answers. I confuse easily. It's some kind of brain problem. I, I don't know. So sometimes I gotta consult him, you know, uh, in complicated matters. Uh, he's got a real talent for helping suspects simplify their statements. Thing is, uh, he's not much of a people person, so... Burke looks like he takes it up the ass. So tell you what, I give you some simple questions, you feed me some simple answers, and we're all home before Donahue. How's that sound? Now... Do you mind telling me what this is? You fucking idiot, Take Joe. How about you press the fucking button and get out of here? He just took it. Oh my god. Alright, yeah, Joe, let's get up. Let's get out of here, Joe. I don't know for sure, but I have a hunch that this door is locked. I'm not about trying that. Okay, I hope the 10 pounds you gain on TV stays permanent. Scrawny guys like me don't last long in prison. Uh, okay. Yes, we used it. We so just used it. Whoa. Where did the lights go? Hello? Was, was I just knocked down? Feel weird, like I was just folded flat and inflated again. Hello? It seems to be out of power. The guy said it was solar powered, so I guess that means I need to get it into sunlight. Okay. Everybody's gone. Hallway. Let's do this. Oh wait, so it looks like the police station is way overgrown. I'm I'm dizzy. What is that? What happened here? How long was I out? I hope you guys have your headphones on. Alright, let's open up this door. I bet it's locked. The door on the sign says evidence room. It's locked. Alright, let's go upstairs. Cause downstairs is a I'm really confused. That doesn't look like the police station at all. Where did they take me? Oh, that's really nice. Who doesn't love a good floating corpse? Oh, God, what is that? I feel nauseous. I still don't have a clue what just happened. And now there's a dead body hanging from the ceiling. This is the second door. This is a nightmare. It's got to be. Right, let's try to open up this door. It's locked. Uh, everywhere seems to be locked. That guy is hung. It's a big gaping hole in the floor. This looks like some kind of bat or something maybe I could pick up. A hammer. They must have just nailed the door up in a hurry. It's a huge tree on what I think is the second floor. Alright, well, we gotta get through here, Joe. <clears throat> Let's check out this body. There's a key attached to his belt. I should grab it and hope it gets me out of here somehow. I, I knew there had to be something with this body. Whatever this key is for, I hope it takes me far away from here or wakes me up. Let's go to this door and use this key. Hopefully it works. It doesn't fit. Alright, so let's go downstairs. I would hope so. It fits. I unlocked it. Let's see what's inside. Another dead body. A samurai sword. I love it. Okay, so let's open up this. The grate to the door is locked with a rusty old padlock. Alright, let's see if we can beat it to death with a hammer Ugh! oh come on i can't even break it with a rusty old padlock with a hammer i may be out of shape but this is just stupid all right let's check out this guy corpse oh god i must be losing it this police id it's the officer from the interrogation brugowski this is seriously creeping me out man 
license small arms anti-war propaganda unregistered sexual aids i really want this samurai sword let's go back over here see if there's anything that we missed doesn't look like it so let's go up more towards upstairs and get out of the basement i want to get that sword but i don't know how we're gonna do that all right so this should be the third floor now is there any lockers we can open it'd be really nice if there were let's check out this door oh my god he hung himself from the door the handle is broken off what the fuck man that is that is dark it's the rope the guy downstairs is hanging from. It's tied to the door in place. All right, we'll untie it. It's too tight to untie. Maybe if I could find something sharp, like the fucking sword, I'm sure. All right, let's check out over here. So it looks like this is as far as we can go. So we, it's a big gaping hole in the floor. I should really be careful where I walk. If the floor caved in all by itself, who knows what my weight could do to it. All right, so let's get off of this. We have to get that sword. So back downstairs we go. All right, so I don't know how we're going to unlock that freaking sword with this police card. So maybe it can be used to open this up. Crap, it broke. Oh, hang on, it clicked. The door is open. So this is definitely a new room. Country maps and pictures on the wall. 3965. There are some numbers scribbled on this. It's too short to be a phone number or a license plate. Maybe a door code or something? Definitely you could pick up Joe. Alright, let's see. Can we open up these lockers? They're either rusted or locked. Country map. It's a map of the country. It is riddled with pins, circles, and notes that look like they were written in a hurry. Anything in this desk? One of the drawers is unlocked. There's a bottle of gun oil in here. Grab it, Joe. Bring everything we can with you. You never know when we're going to need it. This desk has seen better days. Let's see what we can use with this gun oil and code. Maybe the gun oil could loosen up the rusted old padlock that we can maybe then break open with a hammer. I mean, I would hope. We obviously need the sword because we need to cut the rope. So there's got to be some way for us to get the sword. So let's try putting the gun oil on it and see what that'll do. The lock's tumbler seems a little less stiff now. All right, now use the hammer. Hopefully we don't lose the hammer, Joe. No, no cigar. Now my hand hurts, and the only thing I've damaged is my self-confidence. I need the key or something else to open it with. Hmm. All right, so it looks like we need to find another key. It's Wyatt Earp. Good thing these pictures have labels, or I would have never guessed it. Yeah, me either, Joe. All right, let's go see if Abraham Lincoln's got anything to tell us. There's a safe hidden behind this. Far out, man. That's what I'm talking about, Joe. It's a lock. What a drag. 3956 was probably going to work, though, Joe. It worked. Oh, there's nothing in here. Nothing but this dumb paperclip. What a bummer, man. I bet we used the paperclip to jiggle the lock. So, Joe, it's not dumb. It's pretty much a very valuable paperclip. Let's open up this paper clip right here and see what we can do. Wow, it opened. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. All right, let's get the sword and cut that freaking rope. Poor dude hung himself from it. It's a katana. I've always wanted one of these, but somehow I don't feel as excited about it right now. Cut this rope with the katana and see what happens next. There you, why do we lose it? Like, it literally just disappeared. All right, let's go in this door. Spooky. Another dead dude. My goodness. All right, looks like there's some notes, some binders on bookshelves. Let's see what we can pick up from here. There's a duty roster on the desk. Seems a lot of officers were homesick that day. Lots of dusty files and reports. See, the thing is, they made us do so much to get in here. So, like, there's got to be something else for us to do. The only thing I can think of is there's something to do on the body we cut down. We did. Let's see if we can maybe grab the rope. Literally anything I will take. It's bad enough when he was hanging from the ceiling. Let's try to pick up the rope. Alright, this could come in handy. I agree, Joe. 
All right, because there's not much to go off of, you have to think logically. There has to be something to do in that room they did uh, so much to get into where this has to be the next place to do something in. So let's try to figure out if we can do anything with anything. Obviously, this isn't going to work. You still need some light. Can we do anything with the hammer? I would sure hope so. Use hammer with window. Oh my god, yes. Wow, I should be a little more careful. I almost cut myself there. Yeah, I'm sure you did. Hole in window. Okay, so there we go. Now we're onto something. Tree branch. Probably what we used the rope for. Whoa, that's, uh, that's really far down. Whatever the guy was feeling in the movie Vertigo, that's what I'm feeling right about now. Alright, let's tie this to the tree branch. Uh, the most important knot I've tied in my life. All right, let's head down here. Hopefully, we can escape this building now. Chapter 3, The Machine. Okay, now it's just a horrible nightmare. I need to breathe and get a grip. So, in the next episode, we are going to continue through The Machine, which is Chapter 3. But with that being said, guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe down below, and I'll catch you all in the next episode.